So today we are here at Wildwood Park so that we could go to the Paradise Falls. And that is a waterfall that flows all year round. I'll also give a short reflection about this experience. So if you're up for that, then stay tuned. Hello friends and family! I'm Hannah of Hope and Future Bible Devotions, giving you encouragement and godly wisdom with Bible context and life application. Welcome and if you're new here and that's what you're looking for, consider subscribing. I tried searching up why it's called Paradise Falls, but I couldn't find any. It's not the Paradise Falls from Up and it's also not a soap opera. So if you do know why, especially for Californians out there, tell me in the comment section below. But there are a few unique things that I can say about this hike. So I'll mention some of them. One is that it starts with a lot of hot, dry land. At this time of filming, it's the summertime. So best time to go is in the morning. There are a lot of wildflowers, cacti, rocks, mountains, loose dirt. So quick tip, you gotta come wearing appropriate footwear and maybe some hiking sticks too. Next is that you go down closer and closer to the falls and you finally get to one side of the waterfall. It's nice, but it's kind of covered by the grotto beside it. If you go to the other side, walk through the small stream of the water and climb the rocks a little bit, you'll see this beautiful view of the 40-foot waterfall that drops into a large pool along the Arroyo Conejo. Here's the catch. You can't swim or dive into the water because it's a mix of natural spring and street runoff, which contains substances that can be poisonous to our bodies. So just enjoy the view from afar. The thing about hikes for me is that I get away from the urban area I'm usually in and it gets me into a reflecting mood. I mean, isn't it similar to what we go through every day? Life could be better sweet sometimes. There's the bitter where we experience heat and dryness. It could be times where there's just nothing really happening that's exciting. Especially when you're adulting. Sometimes you're like, no more college sororities or clubs. No more professors that you have to deal with. You're like, what do I do next? Or love life could be dry or non-existent. But there are also those sweet moments, like random simple joys. Maybe your dad gives you flowers on a special occasion. Or someone buys you a coffee. Probably you're given that job that you've always wanted. What matters is your outlook in all of it. It's not true when you become a Christian, all your problems will go away. That's bad theology, by the way. But it does mean that God will be with you through it. Even when you're in a hot, dry season, you can still have joy when you find it in God. Also, what are the things you want to achieve? I'm sure there are a lot. You want to move to a different country or a state, that dream job, getting married to the man or the woman of your dreams, and the list goes on. But what if God doesn't give that to you? Would you be okay? It's kind of like that waterfall. One of the rewards of getting there is to take a dive into the water. And the irony is, you can't. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18, it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In this letter that Paul wrote, wherein he wasn't in prison this time, but he was banned from going into the city of Thessalonica, he sent this letter encouraging the believers in Thessalonica. They were being persecuted too, but they were still strong in their faith. That's something that we can emulate too. Sometimes we can't get what we want, but may we have faith that God gives what we need. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks.